Thank you, Mr. Speaker. Those bringing this contempt vote say they want to talk about gun walking and how to stop it. Okay, let's have that conversation. They say they want, to, they want to stop gun trafficking and keep our ATF agents safe. Well then, let's properly fund the ATF, which is the same number of agents since 1970. They say they want to stop gun trafficking. Well then, appoint a permanent ATF director, which the agency hasn't had in six years. They say they want to stop gun trafficking. Well, then let's pass some laws which actually deter straw purchasers. Straw purchasers can currently buy thousands of AK-47s, lie on their paperwork, and the penalty is equivalent to a moving violation. They say they want to stop gun trafficking. Well, then let's give the agents to feel what they've been asking for, the ability to track multiple purchases of long guns. These long guns include AK-47s, variant assault weapons, and 50 caliber semi-automatic sniper rifles, the weapons of choice for international drug cartels. They say they want to stop gun trafficking. Well, then let's close the gun show loophole, which currently allows anyone to purchase any gun they want without a background check. Felons, domestic violence abusers, those with severe mental illness, even those on the terrorist watch list, can currently walk into a gun show and purchase any gun they want. Yes, 2,000 guns were allowed to walk to Mexico, but the truth is tens of thousands of guns flow across our border every year because of those lax gun laws. But those bringing this contempt vote don't want to have this conversation, and they aren't serious about stopping gun trafficking. They simply want to embarrass the administration, even though the committee's 16-month investigation found no evidence the Attorney General knew about gun walking, and even though there was no evidence of the White House involvement in gun walking, all of which Chairman Issa admitted on national TV last week. So if we're going to talk about gun trafficking, let's be clear. This is about politics, not safety. And I yield back.